flowers on the rivers where margins they grow. Air sweet on the banks where we play. That was uh, something that Tommy Gerald sang. He also played banjo. And as I mentioned, this um, photograph of him I used for a painting. It was in a book called Appalachian Fiddle Playing. And uh, when I met Tommy later on, I showed him this painting. He was at the Brandywine Mountain Music Convention in 1978 or 9, maybe 80. And I showed him the painting, and I had given him red hair in the painting and he said, well, I ain't never had red hair, but um, he, he was kind of the guru for old-time fiddle players. He was the last of the real, um, the real old-school fiddle players and uh, musicians like Highwood String Band would all, um, Walt Koken and uh, the Red Clay Ramblers would go visit Tommy and um, uh, just learn how his unique uh, bowing techniques and, uh, and just his personality was enough for them to want to go back. So I got a little taste of that. So they made a great documentary that years later the painting my ex-wife had and um, Apparently it was in a shed and the chickens were using it to roost upon. And some friends were down there and they saw this painting covered with chicken shit. And it's like, don't you want this painting? And, no, well, do you want it? So she gave it to them and it came back to me and I put it in the driveway and hosed it off and scrubbed it and disinfected it. And right at that time, I had discovered that there was a Tommy Gerald Museum in Mount Airy, North Carolina, where Andy Griffith is from. So it's the Andy Griffith Tommy Gerald uh, Mount Airy Histi Historical Museum. And I sent him a picture of the painting and said, hey, if you're interested in this, I can get it to you. And they, they said, hey, next week is the uh, Tommy Gerald Festival. So I, you know, it's four feet, three feet by four feet on Old Masonite and I, I made a nice strong sturdy frame and a box to ship it in and they got it in time for the Tommy Gerald Festival and said it was hanging, they sent a photo of it hanging next to his banjo. His, his fiddle is in the Smithsonian um, and I mean when he died it was in uh, Time Magazine and uh, uh, one of my many uh, local or distant folk heroes. So with this idea of a woodcut, um, I have this old wood from the Anderson house, which was built in 1814. So the wood is uh, right, just, that was 204 years ago. So there's this, it was going to the burn pile. So there's this great grain pattern in there. And I thought, I want to try a woodcut of Tommy Gerald, which is what we worked on, and um, I may end up just framing this chunk of wood. And it glows. I was going to uh, turpentine and scrub this off, but then I would lose that magic. So I mean, I got to. We have to invent as we go. And pay attention. To In the flower.